Hey guys, welcome to the channel. First of all, I don't know jack shit about watches, but I do like collecting them. Now, I've been collecting watches since I was like seven years old, um, and growing up I thought Omega was the pinnacle of watchmaking. I didn't think anything got above them. Didn't really get into any of the uh, higher-end luxury watches, nothing like that. Um, until recently, I've really started getting into watches, watch collecting. I've been watching videos and reading articles and just looking at everything that the world has to offer. So I decided why not start a YouTube channel about a beginner collector. So I decided to do a state of the collection uh, for the year of 2020 just to get a baseline of where my collection's at and uh, where it's going to be going in the future. But I do have a macro lens to get you guys some really good... Sh oh, we don't have the... But they're not going to watch. We... Sorry, we, yeah, I'm sorry. We don't have a macro lens. Makes sense. I'm a new channel. Don't have all that ad revenue. So yeah, why would I? Why, why would I have a macro lens? Um, but yeah, I mean, we got plenty of watches to go through and to review, to talk about whatever, hot takes, everything like that. So sit back, relax, roll the intro, and let's get started. We don't even have a fucking intro? What the f do I pay you for? Mother f All right, we switched perspective on the camera and we'll start off with a 2019 classic, the Timex Q Timex Pepsi bezel. Um, this is the f boy of watches. Pretty nice looking actually. I was quite surprised how well it looked and uh, how the bracelet felt. Everyone said it kept pinching hairs and everything, but I did not have that issue. So um, that's a watch that I saw and I was like, yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. You know what? Here's I'm going to just show you guys this watch. I know it's going to get a lot of hate, but this is the first watch I got this year after I won my fantasy football league. And I decided, I went into the jewelry store and I decided on this one. It gets a lot of flack, but... Um, it's the Shinola Bronze Monster. I know, Shinola, right? Um, I'm going to have to do a video on Shinola because actually I don't, I don't mind their company or their company strategy. And I'll have to explain why. So please um, let me explain in a future video on why I actually like them as a company. And then we'll go from there. Um, here's my latest acquisition, my work watch. It is the D5600E, I believe. Uh, solar powered, as you can see there at the top. Um, this is my second G-Shock that I've bought. And then I got these bull bar um, protector thing. It protects the, the, the face of the watch. Um, it reminds me of uh, like bull bars for like the top of, uh, or the front end of trucks. So I really like the way that looks. Gives it a more tough um, look to it. Okay, the next watch up is a very situational watch that I've been wearing a lot recently. It is the Seiko SNKK52, I believe the reference number is. It's a nice little gold watch that it's v something that I've been wearing a lot recently. The gold is very vivid, um, maybe even fake looking, but I, you gotta. You just got to have a gold watch. It has a display case back and everything. And I was really hesitant on the size because on the website it said 35 and a half. But it really is about like a 38 or so. I'm going to have to do a review on this watch later. But I really enjoy that one. I have a lot of fun wearing it. And then from the Seiko, we'll go to the Bulova Lunar Pilot. Um, nice chronograph. Actually very well made. Um, it's on the bracelet. I did have the other one with the leather band and uh, NATO strap, but I decided to go with the bracelet just because I'm a more of a bracelet guy. An interesting thing about this one is that the uh, leather band model doesn't fit the bracelet. I guess the lug holes are drilled differently on the inside. So they don't really, you can't just buy the, a, a bracelet and put it on, or like the stock bracelet and put it on. Um, okay, here we go. 
Next watch up, it's another chronograph. Um, this is actually a watch I got um, from my in-laws for uh, my wedding. It's a Movado, I believe it's called a Circa. Yep. Um, very polished of a watch. You can even see my reflection there. Um, it is quartz, but it is one of the shiniest watches I have. I mean, everything is just polished very nicely. Um, so many lights. Uh, it, it's just a, a very well-made watch. And um, this is more of my dressier piece. And it has the, the mesh bracelet, which is coming back in style, which I really like. I'm going to do a video on that soon. Okay, and from one of my dressier pieces to my first, um, quote, real watch is my Citizen Skyhawk AT. This watch is something that I actually had to save up for. Usually when I bought watches, I would just go to the jeweler or go to Macy's or something, and I would just pick out whatever watch I wanted, you know, Fossil or a Guess or something. And this one is actually when I started getting more into watches. And, um, yeah, I took a, had to save up a little bit for this one. This is probably one of my favorites. I'm never going to get rid of this one. This is just very well made. Um, eco drive, radio controlled. Everything is such a nice everyday watch. I uh, can't wait to do a review on that one. Okay, and from Japan, we're going to go to France. Here is my Yema Superman GMT. Now, a lot of GMT models I don't really like. I don't like the GMT hand in a lot of models. This one actually works with the aesthetic a lot. Um, when I look at a Rolex Explorer 2, it's just having the Mercedes hands with that sharp triangle. I, I just don't like the aesthetic of that. This one actually goes really well together. So um, I really like this watch. Doesn't have a display case spec, but it does have that nice Yema logo on there. The clasp is the only thing that I don't really like about this watch, but I'll um, have to give this a full review later on, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, we're going to go from the Yema to one of my favorite watches that I've ever bought. Uh, this watch, I I'm just going to show it to you guys. It is the Wired Metal Gear Solid 5 watch. This is the same watch that Venom Snake wore um, in Metal Gear Solid 5. It's super retro. I, I love this piece. It's limited to 2,500, I believe. If I can get that on camera. Can't really get it. Can't really see it. Um, limited to 2,500. Has a, a light and everything that you would expect a digital watch to have. Beautiful watch. I love this watch so much. I can't wait to do a video on this one. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to wear this one. Because I just love wearing it. This is... Definitely my favorite watch in the collection. Well, that's the state of the collection, circa 2020. Let me know in the comment section which watch was your favorite. And if you like uh, this video, like my mug, hell, even like the room, consider subscribing, uh, hit the bell icon, leave the video a like. Um, I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.